My name is Javi Garcia, and I've been shooting uh, film for a few years now. I remember being first exposed to film with old family negatives and, and looking through pictures of family members and then noticing, you know, these, these orange strips that, you know, I didn't know what, what they were. But um, over time, I, you know, I think uh, shooting digital um, and, and just doing that for such a long time, I really didn't know anything about film. I, I probably got into it because I wanted to hark back on what the, 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 the legends and the masters were doing. I started shooting film uh, after years of shooting digital and kind of going crazy in my head with all the, the tricks and things that you could do with, with an image. It was kind of just making me go insane and I needed to be more focused with my vision, I guess. Um, I would look at the same image like in 12 different versions and couldn't decide on what was more pleasing. And uh, it was nice to be able to reset and just, you, you, you get what you get and you really can't change too much and that's exactly what I needed in my life. The reason I chose film was to slow down and then potentially become really good at one thing. Um, I, I wanted to learn film photography at like an ex, uh, accelerated rate. So that's why I stopped shooting digital altogether and only shot film. And I, I love it. I, I wouldn't change it. Um, that's what I needed for myself um, because then I can just focus on the moments that I'm trying to capture, which, you know, all I do is I just shoot my life. The stuff I love to shoot is whatever's around me. Um, I, I do like certain, uh, you know, structures, uh, building looks a certain way. I think it's cool. I'm always looking up. Um, and uh, I, I love people. I love interacting with people. And, I just want to capture really good moments uh, in my life and, and in, in the people that surround me, my, my friends and family, and that's what I love to shoot. You know? Well, uh, since I only shoot film, that is what I prefer, but it's only for me in, in to slow my mind down a little bit because with digital, there's too much um, it gives me too much and I need a little bit of control and and, uh, and that really kind of helps me zero in um, but uh, I would definitely choose film over digital and, and and nothing to you know no disrespect to digital shooters it's just personal preference uh, can film be replicated for, for sure, I, I think so. Um, I mean, I think technology is like pretty advanced and you know, grain can be simulated and, and that's cool. Uh, but, you know, the photographer is the one that knows the real truth and I know that um, for, for me, you know, having a, a, a physical manifestation of that shot and being able to touch it is just magic to me. I think in the beginning when I shot film, I, I definitely was a little more um, timid with the way that I shoot. Uh, I can't really say I'm the same way now. I, I shoot a lot of film and, you know, I probably need to rein it back a little bit, but I, I just, 
you know, if I have it, I'm going to shoot it. And it doesn't matter what kind of film it is or what camera it is. I'm, I'm just going to shoot film. I would love to have my own dark room. Um, I would love to be able to be like a, a badass printer. Um, and uh, I really want to put out a publication. Um, you know, I just need to do it. You know? Uh, I do know what my favorite black and white film is. Uh, it's uh, Kodak Eastman Double X uh, cinematography film. It's crazy, and I love its crazy characteristics. It's just so harsh, and love the grain on that stuff. And uh, I just love how insane the highlights get. I mean, it's probably not. Uh, technically sound but you know I just love the the crazy effect it has man I know there's like there's one that's it's tied um, I would probably say it would be my Russian half frame camera tied with um, like my roller cord medium format camera because then I get, you know, kind of the best of both worlds. You should shoot film because it's it's harder to to do and it takes a little bit more legwork. But I feel that once you get over that uh, initial hurdle, um, yeah, I mean you're gonna get you're gonna get really good results. Um, yeah, I think, I think that it's worth a shot if you can respect it for what it is, you know, uh, respect the entire process and don't just be so focused on the, the digital output of film and, and remember that, you know, the negative, you know, is, is like the the root of it all and there's all kinds of things that you can do with the negative uh hardest for me is archiving my negatives uh i'm like really behind and uh i have a lot of i have a lot of cutting to do future of film it's gonna explode i mean it already has but i don't know i mean i think it's gonna become second nature to a lot of people uh, a lot of young people uh, are getting into it because they're curious and, um, you know, it's, it's not a lost art yet, um, but I think that um, it's, it's, it's sort of magical and people are drawn to it because it is kind of uh, hard to wrap your head around a machine that captures life and puts it on a piece of plastic essentially it, it's kind of crazy my name is Javi Garcia and I shoot film